first thing is he's um, got gastritis, so he spent two days in hospital. Um, so we're going to just have to wait and see how he goes. This He certainly won't play this first game. He's in great form. He finishes off the innings well. He's um, a lead athlete in the field, and he's also a, ca- a captain. So you've got to really, you see the way he finishes off the innings that he's a good thinker of the game, like most of the great finishers, and a really good leader, good person around the group. Uh, re- very excited to see him come in. Of course, these decisions are tough, but that's what leadership's about. That you've got to make tough calls. Um, you guys have heard me say before. I've known them since they're since they're kids. Jeff Marsh is one of my best friends which makes hard. He's also been a coach with me in West Australian cricket, so there's that. But in the end of the day, um, we all know, that the boys know and Swampy knows that this is a tough business and if you're not performing, you don't get selected and that's why, how that decision came about. Glenn, Glenn is crystal clear from me and the selectors what he needs to do to get back in the test team. He's crystal clear and he's... We've shown he's brilliant around the group in white ball cricket. There's been some reports about personality. It is literally false. It's not true. He's he, he's crystal clear what he has to do, and uh, and that's important that he knows that, and I know that as the coach and one of the selectors, and all the uh, conjecture about it. That's all part of the noise 